Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your girl Tiffany B representing Tiffany Down. She got it going on in Didi, aka your hair bestie. Okay, rocking my little top bun. Come on, you gotta push through, honey, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I anointed my head. I anointed. Yes, ladies, welcome to Tiffany's Closet. This is episode two coming to you. You like, you see what I did there? You see? No? Okay. Anyways, you know what the show is about. Leftover here is in the closet. Let's head over there right now. Let's see what we got in store today. All right, so we are at the closet, that closet. And we're heading down. As you know, this is the client shelves. We don't touch. Touche pas, touche pas, my people. All right, so we're heading down here. We're gonna go with this one today. And, ooh, ah. <laughs> so, okay, I have an idea, and you know, my mind's always running, but I think I found some leftover here. Um, obviously, this is the braids, though, from, my single braids. That looks so luscious. Yes. Yeah, those were looking luscious, but um, I was able to jimmy those single braids out and um, they were looking pretty decent. So I'm gonna I'm a do it. I'm inspired by this top bun. So I think, yeah man, yeah man. You know how it go. Phase two, top bun with braids. All right, so I have the single braids from <laughs> Miraculously, by the grace of God. I have them still in pretty decent condition. And so I saw this thing on Facebook, in a Facebook group, and it's a braided top bun, but it's a wig. So I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work out. <laughs> And I hope it works out. I hope it's lush. I hope it's fab. And I hope you guys can try this at home too. Don't forget. Go in your closet. Go in your car. Eat it in the box seat. Or your trunk. Find any leftover hair. Find You can use crochet braids. You can use um, crochet hair. Um, like the wavy hair. You can use the locks. You can use anything basically. And do a wig that um that is specially made for the top one and you're gonna see uh what becomes of it and it's gonna be a hit because me know it and me god do it and a son uh for those who don't understand it's going to be great it's going to be lit <laughs> So your hair bestie is laying and slaying those single braids like they are cornrows on that black wig cap, honey. I got my glue gun and I made sure I had at least five to six glue sticks available because you actually use, no, actually you should probably use five to eight just to be sure. I had some free space left on the wig cap, so I decided to apply some hair called um, Beach Wave. It's a beautiful curl from Free Trust brand. Beach Wave or Deep Twist, that's another curl that I really, really like. It comes out really beautiful. If I wanted, I could have left this in a ponytail state. However, that was not the ministry I was going for, child. You bestie wanted a top bun. You guys remember top bun, Tiffany? Yep, that's what I was going for. Anyhow, right now I'm just putting it in the ponytail and you'll see that I'll be cleaning up the edges and making sure everything looks pristine for my top bun 
so everyone this is the result okay <laughs> yes my girl we are gonna keep it we're not sweep it okay okay that's my best friend my best friend okay <laughs> guys i just love how this came out i'm feeling very very good now let's kind of retract and start from the beginning when i started i didn't really have a plan i just kind of pace and go pace and go but if i was smart i would have used the head shape that is mine because this is slightly bigger this is a 22 my headpiece is probably a 20. so rule number one get a proper head that will fit the piece that you're putting on common rules Number two, I would place lines to kind of guide me. Um, I didn't do that before. And God, but God, thank you, Jesus. He's the one who just place it in his hands, right? Because I was using like thicker braids, I was like, oh, I have enough. It was kind of spacey, to be honest. And I think it was spacey because I used a bigger head and I should have used one that fit mine but um, I just used some common sense and I went ahead and got some crochet here some leftovers and I kind of just pasted it and you can see that from the video that it worked out you can't really see it um, but it worked out here's a piece right um, and I don't know if you guys can see but it's kind of like gappy right here so it doesn't really fit my head, <laughs> but you got to use your mind to really get your grind on. You understand? You gotta use your brains. So I just used this piece. I decided I'll just take a piece of cloth. This is a tablecloth that I no longer use and I got creative and I just made this nice little piece. I wrapped it in the front, I wrapped it in the back and it helped flatten and give a really nice shape. And then the hair naturally fell right here. So you can see how natural that looks. And it definitely looks like I have braids in. So I'm really excited that this really worked out. Um, God, we praise, we worship you, Father. We're happy. So anyways, thank you for joining me. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, tag me. If you want to make one of these, make it. Show your hair, bestie, what you got, girl. Yes. So this time, it is your time to vote. Are we going to keep it or are we going to sweep it? Is it fash or is it trash? Bye, y'all.